Five, yes. All right, Attorney Dave Beatrice, back for round two. Free legal two. advice. Round two. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, this is from Facebook just uh, about 30 minutes ago. It says, uh, it's more common these days for delivery drivers, lawn care people to park on the road. Is this legal? And who would be responsible if it causes an accident because of where they park? So it's uh, usually if it's legal to park on the road unless they have a no parking sign. Mm -hmm. They have a no parking sign and you hit them, and it's still a question of the negligence. But you're allowed to park on a road unless they're or on a public street unless there's a no parking sign. Would they be ever at fault? I, like I think I, I live right near a curve, um, and sometimes they park like right on the curve, which isn't exactly convenient. You don't always see. Would they ever be at fault well, for where they park? Probably not, because you're able to see them okay. and just drive around them. All you right. know, it would be like uh, you see a car and it's in the way, and then you run into it. You mm -hmm. can't go into court and say, "Yeah, I saw the car and I ran into it. <laughs> They're at fault. They shouldn't have parked there." I just don't think that argument's going to work too well in court. Uh, so his advice: don't run into things. Right. <laughs> this one's also from Facebook. It says, uh, "My neighbor has unattended trees. Can I do anything legally to make him tend to them? The trees have crushed uh, this person's fence in the past." Wow. The number one question yes, you get it a lot. between my radio show for 30 some mm -hmm. years and doing this now 20 some years. Um, you can, any trees hanging over your property, you can trim them to the property line as long as it doesn't damage the tree. Okay. Well, there That's you go. That's what I tell you to do. Uh, this and if they broke your fence, turn it into your homeowners and they'll go after their homeowners. All right. This is also from Facebook. This person says uh, their son got into an accident when he was around 19. He's been trying to make payments to the lawyer and they still say they want a payment in full, not just payments. Uh, they say they can't get their license back. No, is there, there there's a way. Do? Yeah, there's a way you can enter into agreement with the uh, uh, a lawyer that allows you to get your your uh, license back. I think there's even a way through the BMV uh, to get that done. Um, what they're talking about is if you're in an accident, don't have insurance, they can suspend your license till you pay the fee. The BMV has some programs out there to allow you to make the payments. Okay, so go through the BMV to, yeah. to, to look into that. All right, uh, this one it was from email. The uh, insurance company sent this person a check. They canceled it without them knowing after they cashed it. Uh, they're now ignoring this person and not making it right. Whoa, they whoa, say whoa, they're whoa, whoa. okay. <laughs> Uh, an insurance company sends them back saying your policy's canceled. They cash the check, and then after they cash the check, they're in the accident. That's what it reads like, yeah. Yeah, well, you're out of luck because you were on notice that your insurance company canceled you. Okay. You get a check and a letter. Mm -hmm. We are canceling you. You cash the check, and then you're in an accident. Yeah, you're out of luck. You have to get insurance to drive in Ohio. It's That's the law. All right. You cannot legally drive in Ohio unless you have insurance on a car. There you go. All right, we have a caller on the line. We'll go ahead for your question with your question. Caller. Hello. Yes. Are you, hello. Yep. I have a question. I live in an apartment complex, and the water is so hot it steams. So I put my meat thermometer in there, and it rain. It rain, the temperature is 150.8. Oh my is God! That's above that? scalding. It is. And is there anything you know I can do, or anybody else can do? Yes. So that's a hazardous condition. You can write the landlord, ask them to turn down. They, they, it's not that hard. There's a, ga it. There's a gauge on the water yeah. meter. They just turn it down. If he doesn't do that. No, no, no. Wait, let me tell you. It, 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 it's boiler heat. Boiler heat. It, yeah. And it, well, it, it, can I ask you a question with the hot water? Can you just turn it so it's not so hot? No, I have no control over it. Okay, well, you could put your money into escrow because that's a hazardous condition. And that money stays in escrow until he fixes that. Well, is there any legally I can do this? Go I just said you can put your. <laughs> so here's your legal remedy: you take your money and you go down to the court and you escrow the money into the court until he fixes the problem. That's your legal remedy. That's it. That's it. You cannot not pay Even rent. Even though I got burned. Well, you could sue him if you got burned, especially if he's on notice of it. Yes. Oh, well, it wasn't that bad, but, you know, it's just that it's for a lot of people. I mean, there's like, um, oh, I can at least, uh, oh, I don't know, 150 you, units here. You, you don't have the ability to turn cold water on with the hot water? Oh, yeah, you can do that when we first turn it on. It's a, 
very complex thing. Yeah, I understand. So maybe just turn because the patient three cold water on before you turn the hot water on. I don't know. It just seems like a reason and common sense to me. But, <laughs> but that's your only legal remedy. Okay. Okay. There you go. All, All right. right. Well, you've talked about it before, too. Put your stuff in escrow, your, your payment in yeah, escrow, because you still have to make your rent payment one way or another, right? That's correct. You cannot not pay your rent because of a defect in the property. It's an important right? thing to remember. All right, Dave, great stuff as always. Great, great being here. Second time in four days, you've gotten donuts. Today. Yes, we're, we're can't, spoiled. Can't we're, as go always. without saying that. <laughs> And we can't go without doing trivia either. Let's take a look at today's question of the day. It's one that is near and dear to my heart. Give us a call. 